Hey everybody, this is DJ Thomas White, and I want to talk to you about my uh, sequencer setup that I'm actually going to make available through auction here um, very soon. Um, this is the Music from Outer Space Ray Wilson Design 16-step rotary analog sequencer on the left-hand side. Uh, this is my original design for the rotary panel, which we ended up licensing out and now is commonly available um, as a pre-produced silkscreen panel. Um, this is the Music from Outer Space Sequencer Expander. So this is an additional 16 steps of voltage that are in sync with the steps from the main sequencer. There are uh, dual quantizers. These are the, um, also MFOS, Music from Outer Space, Ray Wilson Design Voltage Quantizers that have whole step, half step, fourth intervals, very flexible quantizers. Uh, and then lastly, there is the um, CGS Cat Girl Synth Burst Generator. This is actually takes a trigger input and will give you up to nine pulses per trigger with an adjustable rate. So um, as you, let me see if I get in here, I've got a, a keyboard set up. I can provide one trigger there. One trigger, you see the little green LED going per trigger. But if I turn the pulses up, for example, to, um, let's just turn it up to nine. You can see every time I hit the key, you can get a burst of pulses. And if you do it a little faster, you can get some ratcheting effects going on. And it's got a re-trigger at the end, so I turn re-trigger off and then I just get the straight, straight pulses there. Turn that faster. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. See? So this is really neat in conjunction. This is all set up as a universe uh, that gives you really flexible 16-step sequencing. The, um, the core of the unit, the uh, Music from Outer Space sequencer, yeah, is built into this panel to take advantage of all of the design from Ray Wilson. It's got the trigger and gate outputs, voltage and glide outputs, which can be used at the same time. The only difference being that the glide control uh, controls the glide output. Voltage is the straight output based off of the pod matrix over here. Uh, you get your 16 step switches that can be used. You've got various modes, it's all 16 steps. Um, you've got a stop at mode where you can set it where it will stop at a certain step. You can reset that, run it, and it'll stop at a certain step. You can actually do a reset, and it will reset back to a specific place based on how many steps you have set up in your sequence. Um, or you can do reverse, like get yourself going with some ping pong types effects, um, uh, which if you, if you run this up... Um, to a larger step count, you can actually do some really fun different types of sequencing. And then of course, uh, you, there is a switch at the top here. You can put it in random mode and it will randomly play um, any of the 16 steps. So the one caveat of the sequencer is the design that Ray had is the external clock requires a very specific voltage. The way that you get around that is if you're going to run an external clock into this and it doesn't immediately start to track your external clock, you can run your clock through a preamp uh, or a gain stage from another module that you might have in your system and just turn it up until you tune in exactly the right clock signal that it's looking for. There is a mod for the enterprising youths out there. If you want to go in and mod this, if you happen to be the one to purchase this, you can absolutely fix that. Um, no problem. These uh, on the sequencer are the coarse knobs. And then there's fine control knobs inside, and there zero of every knob is pointing towards the um, axis of the, the circular uh, layout of the sequencer. Um, these different steps, this, this uh, eight, figure eight actually sequences like this. Um, and you, what you can do, what I typically will do with this is you can either uh, control volumes with your additional set of voltage out through a VCA, you can control the filter of a frequency, which is the thing I most often did with it myself. Um, so this is really handy to have because it's almost just like an extra layer of control for your 16 steps of sequence. Quantizers really speak for themselves and then the burst generator gives you the ability, um, specifically if you're trying to do experimental music or just want to make things interesting, you can run really slow sequences, really slow sequences and then 
use the burst generator to give yourself extra clock intervals per step and get things really interesting. So this is being sold um, as a pre-built unit. On the back side of this, there is a, um, let's see if we can turn it around, a synthesis technology uh, M900 power supply there. So it has a full Power One linear supply inside. All you need to do is plug it in and you can start routing it and sequencing in your studio. Um, all of the panels are actually from Front Panel Express. None of these are silk screened. These are all um, uh, CNC engraved and then um, filled with paint. So they're very uh, durable and they're gonna last a long time. Nothing can get scratched off of there. Um, so yeah, this is uh, a very custom piece of art that I've made. I've used it for almost 15 years now and it's just time for it to go to some, a new home. I haven't used it in, in a couple of years and I, I'd really like somebody else to get some use out of it. So if, if this is of interest to you, uh, message me directly or um, I'm gonna post it up on probably Reverb uh, here in the next couple of days, maybe by even tomorrow, uh, just to make this available to somebody who wants a unique piece of uh, modular work that there's literally only one of. I suppose somebody could make one of these, but these are custom panel designs. I mean, there is a, a clone of this, but not quite the same. And then nobody has the figure eight panel. Um, and if that floats your boat, awesome. I, I hope that somebody out there uh, who would give this a good home and, and put it to use creatively uh, is, is, is uh, who I find interested in purchasing it. Um, and that's it. That's Thomas White. Uh, I, if you are looking for audio demos of the types of things that it can do, I'm absolutely happy to make those just in the comments below. Let me know you're looking for that and I'll maybe plug the, all of the trigger controls here into the micro or bring my SH-101 down um, to demonstrate those types of functions. Uh, but if you're here watching a sequencer video, you're probably an analog nerd like me and, and understand most of what this stuff is just based on hearing about it. Uh, anyways, thanks so much for stopping by and checking out another one of my videos. Hope you're all doing well and safe out there in pandemic land.